Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to honor God with your wealth. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about tithes and offerings, your questions answered. So I'm pulling this from RamseySolutions.com and it's going to cover uh, what is tithing, what is offerings, and let's get started. Number one, what is tithing? A tithe is a portion, 10% of your income given as an offering to your local church. The word tithe literally means tenth in Hebrew. Because this custom of tithing is biblical, many Christians and Jews practice it as a part of their faith. It says Leviticus 27, 30, a tenth of the produce of the land, whether grain or fruit, is the Lord's and is holy. Proverbs 3, 9, honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of of all your crops um, okay so that's cool down here it says what's the difference between tithes and offerings a tithe is a specific amount 10% of your income that you give first and an offering is anything extra that you can give beyond that so after you've tithed and paid all your bills and expenses for the month you can use any extra money in your budget to give even more this look this can look like giving a cash offering to your church above and beyond your normal tithe, giving money to a charity you support, giving to a friend in need, or giving your time and skills by volunteering. So that's nice, he explains this pretty well. Why should I tithe? The Bible tells us that tithing is a way to show that we trust God with our lives and our finances. This is something that definitely hits me um, as I realize I haven't had my trust with God is not as strong as it used to be. Um, and I realize, well, why is that? Well, for one, I haven't been tithing that much. Um, I kind of stopped doing that. And that's what prompted me to make this video is to really address this to myself, to call myself out and to be transparent with you guys and show you, hey, um, I'm not perfect. Um, and then also to share it with you because you may not have known about this. So this is pretty cool. Tithing isn't for God's benefit. He doesn't need our money. I said so tithing is meant for our benefit because sacrificing a portion of our income reminds us to rely on God to meet our needs. Plus, it makes us more aware of the needs of others too. In fact, supporting the needs of pastors and the work of the local church is one of the main purposes of tithing. Tithing helps your local church actively be the church by helping others. Giving, giving encourages a grateful and generous spirit and can help steer us away from being greedy or loving money too much. Plus, being outrageously generous is a blast. He's true on that. I can definitely remember being a kid and mowing yards, and every time I did tithe, um, I did notice that God would send more jobs, and it was very exciting. Now, I'm not saying that when you tithe, you'll immediately get more business or you'll get more jobs, but that's something that happened to me, and I do definitely believe that when I was tithing before, I was happier, I felt more generous, and God covered me. He took care of me and gave me more jobs. He didn't just take the money and then, oh, figure it out. So. That's one thing that I've had an experience with tithing, and I do miss that generous and happy spirit of being able to bless other people and to support the church because they're only supported by our tithes. It says, do I have to tithe? While tithing 10% of your income is biblical, that doesn't mean you have to be a Christian to tithe. It also doesn't mean you're a bad Christian if you don't tithe. And guess what? God loves us when we give and when we don't give. In fact, 75% to 90% of those who go to church don't give a tithe. Oh, wow. Here's another truth bomb. Tithing is, isn't a way to earn God's love because we already have it. In Matthew 23, 23, Jesus warns against focusing too much on the rules of tithing without paying attention to the most important things like justice, mercy, and faithfulness. Bottom line, you should be giving in some way, but tithing is more of a spiritual topic than a financial one. It's not about the money, it's about the heart. It's about living with the attitude that we've been blessed to be a blessing. 2 Corinthians 9, 7, Each of you shall give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So, if you make $4,000 a month, and 10% of that is 400, but you don't feel compelled to give 400, you do feel compelled to give 200, and out of your heart you know you can give 200 and you'll be fine, then I would say roll with that. If you giving 400 is gonna set you back and you're gonna starve, well, um, maybe reevaluate. If you wanna do it, go ahead. That is my opinion. So um, 
just take it as a grain of salt. We're going to go scroll down here and it says how to tithe. Number one, pray. Number two, try online giving. Three, do a monthly budget. Okay, and those are the only ones. So number one, we said it before and we'll say it again, tithing is a more of a heart issue than one with dollar signs attached to it. If you're struggling with the idea of tithing or giving, spend some time with God asking him to give you wisdom and show you ways that you can help others or even just be more generous. Even if tithing, even if giving doesn't come naturally, prayer can help soften our hearts and refocus our attentions. That is something I'm definitely working on for myself because um, I've realized I've become kind of um, hardened on that and I would like more prayer and to be able to have a more soft heart when it comes to tithing. Um, try online giving. Many churches have tried to speak to make tithing as easy as possible. If you go to church, they may have a way to give online or through an app. Um, I know with our church, you can set up a reoccurring basis. So if you know how much money you have coming in, um, you can set it to auto take out of your bank account. And just, you know, a, a good note to think about is this is a discipline thing. And it's nice that it's a discipline thing because it helps you know that you have a budget. You're not just getting money coming in and money out. You know, this is how much money's coming in, this goes to tithing, this goes to food, this goes to bills, you know, whatever. So when you have a more structured budget, um, you will actually save a lot more money and have more money at the end of the day because all your dollars, you know exactly where it's going um, and you feel good about it. And when you have an organized budget and it's structured and there's order, God is a God of order and there's more peace. That's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, please leave a comment, like, and I'll see you on the next one.